So the first thing you want to do is start off with some stretch hair. Then you just want to section off the back section of his hair. I'm using some shine and gem. And I'm just going to place it at the parting. Like I'm doing right here. And then you just want to grab your red tail comb. And you just want to part off a small section of hair. Now you just want to start two strand twisting the hair. Making sure that you get the ends all the way twisted as well. Grab your crochet needle. I'm placing that little hook thing down so it can be open. So when I'm interlocking the two strand twist, you want to go through the hair. Grab the tail end and pull it through like I'm doing right here. And then you just want to repeat the process like I'm doing right here. I will be doing these a few times so you can see how exactly I am doing that. So once again, you just want to two strand twist the hair and making sure that you go all the way down to the end of the hair, making sure that you get that end really well. And when you get to the end of the hair, make sure you take your finger and twirl it around to get a curly end. I'm going to continue to two strand the hair throughout his head and you can see how that's going to be looking so right now i'm just sectioning it off so i can start the two strand twisting process so right here i am just showing you what i'm doing right here adding a little shine and jam as i go and as needed whenever you feel like the hair is really dry you just want to get just a little bit of that shine and jam and place it on the spots that you feel are dry because you want these to be frizz free to strand twist so that's the purpose of doing that you want these twists that to look as good as you can so after that i'm just interlocking the hair and when you interlocking the hair the first time that you interlock go on the side of the two strand twist from the bottom first and then you want to go like towards the middle so right there i'm just going towards the side first grabbing the tail in and i'm just pulling it through and then i'm going like straight up in the middle of his hair I'm grabbing the tail end of the hair and I'm just pulling that hair through like so. It also almost creates a Y at the beginning of the twist. You know how some people got that Y look where they actually like finger coiling the hair first or comb coiling the hair first to create that Y look? So the first row is completed and then this is how it should be looking once the two strand twist is completed and the interlocking is completed. It should be looking something like this. Now right now I'm just sectioning off my second row and then I'm just going to two strand twist that second row like I'm doing right here. And after all that is completed I'm going to of course show you how that will be looking. And here it go. Once completed, it should be looking like this. And then you just want to grab your crochet needle. Remember, we're going on the side of his hair first. And then we're going to go straight down the middle when we interlock it to create that perfect interlock. This interlock process is so great. Do you see the difference between the regular two strand twist and me not interlocking the hair? You can tell that it's more puffy at the roots and it doesn't lay as well. This also, to me, gives extra length. So when you're starting your starter locks, it'll give you a little more length. And most people want more length. So that's why I started off with the stretch hair as well. Now, with that interlocking process, it also helps for your locks to lock quicker. So by, we, by us doing this type of interlocking, your locks will even lock even quicker. So that's row number two completed. And I'm just showing you how that is looking. And then I'll show you row by row, row number three. And then from that, of course, we go to row number four. 
on the back of his head and that's how that is looking so after you get done with that it's time to start with the front of his head and in the front you just want to kind of go in a u shape and you just want to get the hair out the way and of course just like we did the back of his head we're going to start off two strand twisting the hair this make it quick and easy when you two strand twist and then start interlocking and right here i'm just showing you the process as well how to interlock the front of his hair it's the same thing and now you can even kind of see more of that y parting that i was telling you which i think looks good so it kind of gives you like a style as well as um locking your hair so you get like a two in one hairstyle so i'm just showing you how that first row look on the front of his head and like i did on the back of his head i'll show you row by row so this is the second row of his head right here and i'm just gonna kind of give you a close-up so you can see how those are looking and we're just gonna jump into row number three right here and as we do the rows you can see how it's getting smaller and smaller so you just want to go with the flow of his head to see where you want to start parting so here go row number four in the front of his head and it's going to be only a small little section left to work with and i will show you how it look once all of it is done and it's completed it should be looking like this but of course we're not done because we got to put all the finishing touches on his head we can't leave it like this because it won't be completed so the next thing that i do i go and grab some foam lotion it's Nairobi, and i'll put everything in the description box as well so you just want to place that all over his head and make sure that all of it is covered and then you just want to grab your do-rag and everything will be in the description box if you want to see the exact products and you just want to sit on a dryer for 30 minutes now it's time to put oils on his head i'm using two different types of oils and once again it'll be in the description box so you can see what types of oil that i put in his head so this is the one i really love that black jamaican castor oil it is so so good but this is the finished look and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up share this video and subscribe to my youtube channel and you have such a wonderful great blessed day